right, hello and welcome to Lineage Factory. I'm Robbie, Quinn's behind the camera, and today we're gonna show you how to spray paint a car like a pro. So this is my 1989 Mazda RX-7. Um, as you can see, the body is already spray painted, but the hood is not. So today we're gonna show you how to spray paint a car like a pro on the hood. We're gonna show you how to wet sand the hood, properly apply spray paint, and get a good clear coat going. So let's get into it. So these are the things that you're going to need for the process. You're going to need satin clear enamel if you want a clear or a satin clear coat. Um, you can also do gloss and matte. Um, same thing with the actual paint itself. So we got the satin protective enamel and white. And then you're going to need a bunch of various sandpapers and stuff like that just to be able to sand down the hood and get a good proper surface going. Garden hose, canvas. All right, guys, so as you saw, we decided to shave down the little um, wash fluid squirters. I think this is gonna be a really cool look for this hood not to have just a little like ugly piece of plastic sticking up. Plus, if you're gonna paint the hood, might as well get the paint under there as well. It's just a little plastic tab. You cloak it with some uh, pliers, comes right at the top. While we are waiting for the uh, Bondo to dry, we're gonna try putting these FC wheels on the Evo just because we got nothing else to do. Um, and I'm curious. They should theoretically fit, right? Uh, theoretically, the offset's gonna be off and I just haven't measured them, but they're the same bolt pattern, so they'll go on. I just don't know how well they'll fit. Oh, well, y'all will see it the same time we do, so. Moment of truth. I like the color combination for sure. Oh, definitely. It's gonna be hella folk. All right, let's out. Okay, so. Dude, if you take that wheel spacer off, this might actually fit. The wheels that we had on there um, were 18s. These are actually 17s. I don't know, let, let me know your com uh, thoughts on this in the comments. I like it. I'm gonna see if I can take off that wheel spacer and get it fit better. I'm gonna lower it probably half an inch. Slam. Oh yeah, it'll be it'll be pretty low at that point. Pretty much basics of wet sanding. It's pretty easy. Make sure you have a soapy water solution. Um, you want the area to be uh, already damp before you put this on there but pretty much just spray it down get some this is a 150 grit i believe do that till it's smooth so it's touch and you know that's pretty much it so let's get back to it
All right, so as the hood is drying uh, right before our very eyes, um, we're actually just gonna paint the hood out here. Um, I do not recommend this. I would normally paint inside the garage, but uh, we're kind of on a time crunch today, so I wanna get it dried as fast as possible. So we're just gonna be extra careful as far as when it comes to bugs and debris and all that stuff. So once this dries completely, we're gonna start uh, laying coats down. All right, so uh, first coat, um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be laying down um, wet coats, which means wet overlapping coats. So what we're gonna do is, I'm shaking this can, um, I'll show you. For the first coat, um, first coat of paint that is, uh, we are going to be doing wet overlapping coats, which means, well, you're obviously gonna be able to see through, this is the first coat. But kind of what we're just gonna do is, So you want to build upon the previous like layer you just put down. Exactly. So this is the first coat. It's just kind of like a well, the base coat, so you don't really worry, want to worry about it too much. We're pretty much that process for the entire hood. And then when we get to the second and third coats, we'll make sure they're actually really even, um, so we get a nice shine on it. So we're just gonna do this entire hood. Yeah, so also when you're uh, spray painting, make sure to kind of work in sections. Uh, it's a lot easier. Um, it just helps with spray painting. And then also as long as they're wet coats, you won't have any issues of seeing like boxes. Tiger stripes, binding, things like that. Exactly. All right, so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the first coat. As you can see, um, there are well, you can still see the background of it, which is fine. Don't worry, is we're gonna at least do um, three coats all the way up to possibly five coats, um, depending on how froggy we feel. Um, so now just let it dry, and once we go over the second coat, we'll try to fill in all this and get one solid coat of color so we're not seeing the background. Cool. All right, not... second coat. Um, I'm going this way now, so we get rid of all that tiger. So we're going the opposite of what we just did. Exactly. Before we went, if we're looking this way, we went vertical. Now we can go horizontal. Exactly. So, same process, we're just gonna make it one actual wet coat now. Yeah, I'm trying to make it uniform. Yeah. Oh, take this finger. If you look at the difference, we got coat two right here, whoever it's coat one, you see the coverage difference. So on coat one, you're trying to get to like tack to the primer. And then on coat two is when you want it to be nice and wet so it adheres to the previous coat and just built on top of itself. Exactly. Making it thicker and thicker, essentially. Like this is only two coats, we're gonna go at five. It's gonna be a nice rich white color. Second coat is now on there. Uh, as you can see, about let's say about eighty percent of the tiger striping is gone. Um, so the camera probably won't show up because it's so white. A little bit of tiger striping, not much though. Yeah, but after the third coat, that'll be gone. So now we're gonna let it dry um, pretty much all the way to where, as we only let the first coat dry to where it was tacky. Um, so now we'll let this dry pretty much all the way. Hit it with third coat, and we'll see if we need another coat after that. We'll probably do another one after that, just for kicks and giggles. So probably, probably four coats. Yeah. Four coats, three, three, four coats of gloss. Yeah. It looks nice. Go. Here's the thing about doing white. Once you get this many coats down, it's hard to follow where it's been. I don't know where I'm... Oh, actually, I do know where I'm painting, but it's quite difficult. <laughs> kind of like look for the gloss and just see 
where it's not glossy and where it's kind of like matte. Exactly. So we're done with, uh, we now have four coats on the hood. It looks really good, really happy with it. Um, once it dries, uh, we will throw clear on it. So we're actually gonna move it into the garage because when you're doing clear, that's when you really don't want any debris or anything uh, getting into it. So we're gonna move it into the garage. Um, probably honestly let it cure overnight um, before we do clear and then I'll come back tomorrow and hit it with clear. It's looking really it's good right out. now. It's a nice, <laughs> now it's just four coats down. It's a solid shade of white. There's no, no tire striping, no nothing. It's dried really nice. Yeah. It's honestly, it's a really cheap and easy way to change the look of your car if you just take your time and do it right. Exactly. It, all it is is making sure you have that first coat. Well, first make sure you prep the service properly um, after that. Is making sure you have that first tack coat down and then just laying uh, overlapping heavy wet coats and then I mean it looks like a professional paint job just with a rattle can. Yeah. Cool, let's move it in the garage. All right, so Quinn and I were actually just talking about this. Um, how much did it cost me to A, paint the entire body, which y'all will still see at the end of this video, um, plus the hood. Uh, so as far as time goes, it took me about two weeks to do from start to finish. That's full prep. You got to tape everything off. Yeah, that's car. full prep, um, taping off, uh, going you know panel by panel like you just saw with the entire car. Um, I went through about thirty six cans of white, just just actual paint, not even including clear. And I think it was another twenty of clear. Um, so right at it with the entire body of the car, I'm around $250 into this paint job. It frankly looks professional. It's a cheap way to get your, well, to change the look of your car. And also you can go to Mako or whatever and get it for $500 or you can just do it yourself. Take two weeks. Mako's not even 500 bucks anymore. We're talking about that. Like, yeah, you can do a $500 Mako job. But it's not the same as what it used to be. Exactly. And frankly, cause this is, it's actual good paint. It's going to hold up. Um, and it's something you can do at home. Exactly. You can do it in your garage. Or driveway. Or duplex. <laughs> Day two, time to start laying down the clear. As you can see, hood looks real freaking good. Uh, there is zero tiger striping, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, let's go start laying down the clear. I don't know how well y'all are gonna be able to see this because frankly, I might cl close the garage and leave off the lights just so I can see uh, well where I'm putting the clear coat better. So, um, so I don't know how much of this y'all are gonna see. Um, it is clear, so you're obviously not gonna be able to see any color change. So I will do my best to maybe throw in a time lapse here. Um, but other than that, you just keep doing the same thing that you did with the other white paint, is just do wet overlapping coats. So yeah, let's get to it. One thing on the paint that I do wanna mention, we are using uh, Rust-Oleum products. This is the best um, all around paint that I found. And we are going for a satin finish. So we've got the satin white and also we've got the satin clear coat. So we're gonna now throw on the satin clear coat. Okay, first coat is done and drying. As you can see, those aren't tire stripes. It's actually just it drying. So we're gonna let this dry out completely before we do the second coat. Um, also, we are doing about one can per coat. So obviously we're gonna be able to do three coats of clear on the hood, it should be looking fantastic after that. So just gonna let this dry completely, throw the next coat on and go from there. All right, this is after coat two. Um, it's looking really good. I don't necessarily even need to do another coat. I just want to for, you know, that extra layer of protection. And I've got one more can of the paint. So, all right, I'm not gonna bore y'all with, well, y'all looking at me spraying little invisible stuff on the hood. So I'm just gonna finish up the third coat, we'll be done. So the third coat will be done in three, two, one. Boom, and just like that, we are done. Hood looks great, um, as you can see. So once again, it is four coats of actual paint then three coats of the clear on top of it. Um, I didn't want to bore you all with all the clear uh, sprayings because you can't see it. And well, you've already got enough painting for this video. But for right now, um, here is the walkthroughs and walk arounds that I have of the actual car being painted. So enjoy. Uh, getting ready to paint. Um, have most of the windows and everything masked off. Still need to do the driver 
passenger side windows. Uh, I gotta fill in this part right here and cover the intercooler down there so we don't get paint on it. And then we will be good to start spraying. All right, so I haven't really gotten any video of this, but I ran out of paint. So here we're at. Here's where we're at. Looking good so far. I'm gonna have to wet sand some of this. You just couldn't drips, but we'll get those out. No problem. Got more paint on the way. I'm gonna try to get another two coats down. Really get that gray out. But other than that, I'm slipping in love with it so far. It's coming out great. After this, I'll have the next two coats. I'll put on the clear. All right, I just finished up painting. Clear coat and everything. Final product was still being all wrapped up. This color came out insane. Hope y'all enjoyed this video of me painting my RX-7 with spray paint. Um, it was definitely a journey, definitely a learning experience. Um, I do recommend it if you don't want to spend, you know, thousand, fifteen hundred bucks on a uh, paint job and you have a couple weeks to do it. Um, like I said, this took me about two weeks and probably two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars and well, a lot of cans of spray paint. I think I went through about 50 cans of spray paint in total. Um, it looks good. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, do all the YouTube stuff. Um, yeah, see you in the next video.